So today I wanna to show you a quick hack for checking your SEO ranking. And by that, I mean you can quickly see where you fall on page one, two, three, five, 20 of Google so that you know how to optimize your website to get more leads. Hi, I'm Jody Enroll. I'm the founder of the Event Certificate, and I work with wedding planners to help them double their leads online. We currently have our Wedding Marketing Accelerator program also open, so if you're struggling to find leads online, you definitely want to sign up. The program does have limited spots, so do not sleep on this one because I'm showing you all the tips and strategies to effectively market in your wedding planning business. I'm going to link it all below for you to join, and let me know if you have any questions. So today I wanna to jump in. I'm actually gonna just take my face away from this and share the screen and show you how to check where your website ranks. And here's why this is important. Sometimes I meet clients and they'll say to me, I have this website that everyone told me that I should do and I hired the designer. I paid a ton of money to get it up, but it has no traffic. If I see five people per month, that's a lot. So I'm gonna show you how to actually check where your ranking is so you can better understand why you're not getting any traffic. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to Google and you wanna just type the Hoth. Now you can go directly to their website like thehoth.com because that's where I'm gonna take you. So all we're gonna do is just scroll, go to the Hoth, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're not gonna log in because what we want is we wanna use one of their resources which is their website ranking checker. So the website ranking checker essentially allows you to see where your website is ranking and for what terms. So all you need to do is put in your website URL. So I'm going to enter, um, I'm actually going to enter my template shop. And I'm going to say view my Google rankings. And it's going to validate my request and ask me to just make sure I'm not somebody scammy or sketchy. And once it does that, what it's going to do, it's, it's actually going to pull up all the keywords that I'm ranking for. So here's the thing what I want you to pay attention to. So the first thing I want you to look at is actually the rank. And rankings between 1 and to 20 means that you're either on page 1 or page 2 of Google because Google usually have about 10 rankings per page depending on how many ads they show at the top on average, right? So pay attention to those rankings. If your ranking is not within 1 to 20, it means that you're even further down in the search than where you should be. And you really want to bring that back up. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna pay attention to the keywords that you're ranking for. So if you look and you see that you're ranking, but you're ranking for keywords that your clients would not be searching for, then you definitely wanna change that. So one of the things that you look, you'll see, for example, um, one of the things I'm ranking for is a style shoe timeline template, right? Or people are looking for event planning pricing packages, and I'm on the first to second page here. Um, same, um, event management price quotation, um, wedding planner Instagram polls, and these are all keywords that I want to be ranking for because they're products that I have in the store that you can use to find the products that I sell, right? Such as hashtags for parties or hashtags for weddings. All of that geared toward wedding planners and event planners. You'll see um, there are also some terms where I'm lower in the rank, right? For example, wedding season hashtag, I'm at 70. But I don't care about that because wedding season hashtag is not something that my wedding planners would be looking for. So I want you to pay attention to those two things. Now, of course, if I'm telling you how to do it, I'm going to tell you how to fix it. If your ranking is low, it means that the keywords on your website are not optimized. So you need to look into the content on your website, your blog posts, how your images are labeled, like the alt tags, and as well as the meta descriptions on each page. So that's how you go about finding your ranking. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comment for me. 
<laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching that. I hope you got some insight into how Google works and at least what keywords you might be ranking for what page you're on so that you know the areas you need to improve. And if you're looking for tips on how to really improve your SEO, your online visibility so you can get found by clients, definitely join us in the Wedding Marketing Accelerator. I promise I take you step by step through how to get to page one and two of Google so that clients can find you organically.